Hey, good morning. It's great to see you today. It's Saturday, the 10th of July, and I'm laughing because it's like, oh, it looks miserable outside. I'm hoping to, I was hoping to do so much in the garden today because everything's grown, and uh, and it's like, I don't like going out there when it's been raining. It's just been raining and it's wet, and you're going to get, like, if you go out in the garden, you're going to get soaked. Um, so we'll have to see. See what happens. Maybe it's a day for staying inside anyway we will continue with the devotion in the book of i keep gonna say galatians it's not it's galatians galatians um so there we go galatians i read two verses yesterday verses chapter chapter two verses three and four really only stayed on verse three and so let's have a look at verse three and four again so and they supported me, who? That's the disciples, that's the church leaders. They supported me and did not even demand that my companion Titus be circumcised, though he was a Gentile. <clears throat> even that question came up only because some <laughs> so-called Christians there, false ones, really, who were secretly brought in, they sneaked in to spy on us and take away the freedom we have in Christ Jesus. They wanted to enslave us, and force us to follow their Jewish regulations. Well, there we go. Wow, what a question that is, and um, what a what a thing. This question only came up about Titus being, you know, being um, it was brought up. So Paul was there. He was saying, like, you know, he wanted to check with the church leaders, the disciples, that the gospel he was preaching. He said that it was the true gospel. That he wasn't running his race in vain. And there was this there was this big argument about the time. Remember, we've been talking about the last few days that to be a Christian, if you're a Gentile, they were saying certain sections were saying, well, you need to become Jewish. You need to uh, men need to have the snip. Um, I don't mean you know they mean circumcision, and they need to follow the rules and the regulations of being Jewish, keeping the festivals. You know, men and women sitting separately. All all all, all those a lot of all those kind of things there. And what Paul was saying was in the verse we read yesterday was actually the you know the leaders didn't even say didn't even say that um, Titus who was a Gentile needed to be circumcised which is what they would have said um, and that question only came up here it is in verse four only came up because some so-called Christians there were some so-called Christians there false ones really who secretly brought in well this kind of thing. I've heard it happened before in other in certain places when looking at contentious things that you bring in people who are nominal members, particularly when it comes to a voting, which is why I'm pretty against voting in churches because um, you know it's it, it can cause all kinds of problems, particularly around contentious issues. Um, I think the Bible is very clear about many things that we how we need to live our lives, you know, how to live a godly life. Um, these boundaries are being pushed really quite 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 a lot now <clears throat> and we have people coming in and saying well we need to be this we need to be that we need to be the other I had it when once when um, I was talking to someone and was talking about um, uh, people in ministry in the church and I said well if someone's you know if you like they're not married and they're living with somebody I said that in our church that they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to be part of the of the worship band or, or part of this or part of that or part of the other and this person said to me you don't believe that anymore do you and i was like i was staggered i was staggered quite a, a fundamental uh about our faith and it's not just the same as it concerns these issues but it's the same as if someone was going around gossiping it would be the same situation if someone was going around being a gossip and doing this and doing that they wouldn't be part of the of the upfront ministry in the church because because these things need to be addressed we need to live in and, and they and if when they were also um it was brought to their attention they didn't say actually do you know what i've, I've made a mistake i've I messed up if they just said well what's it got to do with you that would definitely be like a woo red flag there so so we need to you know we've seen this before there's nothing new under the sun. Paul was saying these people were secretly brought in. They were sneaked in to spy on us and uh, to take away the freedom that we have in Christ Jesus. We have this absolute amazing freedom. 
you know, the Bible says all things are possible for those who believe. All things. All things. And it says that we can do all things, but not everything. Like I said yesterday, not everything is beneficial. You know, and um, we need to be sensible in that. We need to ask the Holy Spirit to direct us because at the end of the day, we need to guard that relationship with God. It's about God in our heart, keeping our heart right before God. Some things that we that we that, that we could do um, would cause us to cause us to damage our relationship with God. Um, uh, yes, we we can still we, if we did them and we fall into those things. Yes, we can get repentance, but we just need to work through those things, and we need so we need to guard our hearts, and we need to follow Jesus as best we can. We need to live in the freedom that Christ has for us. It is when we live in the freedom that Christ has for us that we can really truly allow ourselves to be the person that God has called us to be. I need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit to change me, to 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 change the way I think, to change the way you know when I don't can't be bothered or when I don't want to do something to to you know to give me the boot up the backside I need to do that to just to live for Him to see God's kingdom come. Uh, to be to fulfill the purposes that God has for me, you know, for me to go up to the next level in God, I need to I need to submit more to Him. I need to be the per be more the person that He has truly called me to be. God has called you and me to greatness. He's called us to significance in His kingdom, to do great exploits for Him. Jesus said, "This even greater things than these will you do." At the moment. I'm not seeing those so much in my life, but I believe it. I say, yes, Lord, yes, and amen. And I try look, try to position myself to be the person that you've called me to be, not to be religious in the wrong sense, not to be like, say like, a, oh, you know, the right wording and things. That's not about, that is not that. That's not freedom. That is religion. Not to be religious, but to have that freedom to, to truly be the person of God, like they said about the Indian team, to go out to express themselves, to be who I am, the personality that I am, to follow God in the best way I possibly can. So, don't allow people to force you to be, you know, religious in that sense. But on the other hand, we do need to be accountable. We do need to we do need to live in that freedom. We need to balance that with living a godly life. I hope that's helpful today. Take care. God bless. See you on Monday in church on tomorrow and take care god bless in jesus name amen